We arrived to one of the best chapters where we are going to understand how the bug testing framework works. The first step will be download the historical data that you want. Here you need to define the exchange, the strain pairs separated with a comma, the intervals that you want and the quantity of days. When you press get data, this will create a Docker container with that script and it will download the historical data and store it for you inside the folder data and the subfolder candles. The next step of the bug testing is to check the strategies. The tab create has a list of all the controllers that are available or you can create your own controller. The only ones that are bug testable right now are the directional trading ones. So you have Bollinger V1, MACD Bollinger V1, and Trend Following V1. We're going to optimize the Bollinger strategy. It's a very simple strategy, probably you know about it. If not, we will need to clarify which are the inputs. We will need to have the length of the Bollinger band, how many standard deviations we want to use, which is a threshold that we're going to use to say, okay, we have to go long or the threshold to go short. And just to understand how it works, if the price goes and touch the upper bound means that the price is deviated, the quantity of standard deviations that you selected to compute the indicator. So probably if it's touching the upper bound, it's a good time to short. So that is what we are going to optimize and find the best parameters, which are the length that we are looking for, how many standard deviations, and when we have to say, okay, it's time to go short based on the values of the indicators. So now if we move to the optimize tab, you will see that we have a box that seems like it's magic because it's creating a study for us, but actually it's not magic. What we are using is a pydantic configuration for the strategy. You will see that Bollinger has his own configuration. And as we are using the field from pydantic, I can check if that uh, variable which type it is, if it's an integer, a float, or a string, for example. And based on the type of the variable and, and also from the bounds, I am auto-generating an optimization file for you. So what you need to do is to pick the strategy that you would like to optimize. Then you can put a name, a specific name for the study. By default, is today. And then if you press create, a new file will be created. When you inspect that file, you can modify the optimization. By default, it's trying all the configurations. But for example, if you want to just optimize, I don't know, the ratios of stop loss and take profit, you can do it too, uh, or you can do it all at once. So then once you have the file ready that you want to optimize, you have to pick it from the box that we have at the right. And, as, and you will say, I would like to run this optimization and how many trials you want to run. Each trial will be like a different, a, a run with a different value of the indicators of the configuration. So it's like an, a hyperparameter tuning. That is why Optuna is, is good. It's a hyperparameter tuning framework. And we are going to try a lot of different combinations of parameters and then pick the best that we want. And then in the next chapter, we're going to analyze the results and see which are the best ones and which are the ones that we would like to deploy. So here we are in the first step. I would like to do the optimization, for example, in, I don't know, let's pick near USDT. And then let's select a three minute time frame and let's download 120 days. We just click here in download candles and you will see that we have here downloading candles uh, with a Docker container in the background. When this process is ready, you will see the candles inside data candles. So if we go here, inside data candles, we will see that now we don't have nothing. So the process is like not ready yet. If you want, uh, as you can see here, the container is started. And if you want, you can attach the container to see which is the current state. So let the downloader works for a little bit while we are going to, we're moving to the next step that is create. Here, as I mentioned, we have the controllers. You can modify the market making controllers, but remember that they are not part of the optimization. The only ones that are available to optimize and backtest are the directional strategies. 
So we mentioned that we are going to use Bollinger, have the length of the Bollinger band between 100 and 400, the standard deviation between two and three, the thresholds to go long and go short. Here we have the specific logic. If you want to go and understand how this works and get more professional, I would recommend you to take Botcamp where we are explaining how all this works. And now we have to move to the step that is optimized, as I mentioned. And here we will need to pick the strategy that we want to optimize, in this case, Bollinger, and the optimization version. Once we press here, create, this new file appears here. So if we press here, edit, we can see the file. By default, it has some values. For example, here it says BTC. So I'm going to change this for near, for example. Here we can test a lot of values of stop loss, take profit. Well, it's going to try a lot of combinations and different time limits. So if it's three minutes, let's try between this and this. We can also put a step for the values. Remember, the, you can modify this as you want. So let's put a step of one hour between different time limits. Uh, let's try up to four or six hours, let's say. And um, here a candles config, let's try three minutes. This quantity of records that you are seeing here is a quantity of records that we are using for backtesting. This is going to be improved soon. For now, we, are, we won't just the user testing this. And then you will need to adapt this for the real time bot. Here for the Bollinger band length, it's between 100 and 400, step every 50. This, uh, the, sun, the sun alleviation, let's go between 0 0.5 and the threshold, let's put, let's move the threshold every 0 0.1. Okay, now I think that this uh, file is all right. Remember that if you want to understand how this works, Botcamp is a very good uh, path to take. Now we save the file. If we go back again to check if the data is here candles now we can see that we have this candles binance perpetual near usdt three minutes so open low high close volume you have all this information so now i think that we are ready to do the optimization so we go back here we pick bollinger v1 and the number of trials so let's say that we would like to run i don't know 300 trials and press here run if all goes well here, we are going to see the number of trials, which is the value that they, that they have. This value is the net PNL. Here you will see which is the best trial. So well, I hope that you like it. And in the next chapter, we are going to analyze the results with the same dashboard and deploy some of the best strategies.